Hello, what I'm going to be doing today is a tutorial on how to make a house in the Fallout New Vegas Gek. No, Fallout 3 Gek even. But a Fallout 3 Gek is exactly the same as a Fallout New Vegas Gek, so it shouldn't really make a difference. So, first thing to do is open your Gek, wherever it happens to be. And obviously, you've got to download your Gek from the internet first, but you just look up Fallout 3 Gek or Fallout New Vegas Gek and you have it. So first thing you want to do is click open Fallout 3 Master File. And okay, then wait for it to load. It's prone to crashing, but yep, but it's it'll be okay. It, it will load. So I'm just gonna have Apple. I think that wasn't unbearably loud. I'll watch it back later and see if it is. Okay, what I'm going to do is first of all save your file so you don't edit the actual game. And you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it YouTube House. There we go. Simple as that. And now you look for. So to duplicate. So I'm going to use, um, which is for Megaton Abandoned House. Duplicate cell. So now you want to rename it. There we go. Whatever the hell you want, so I'm going to call mine YouTube House. Then you click on Edit, Interior Data, the name, now will be whatever the hell you want. So, you, YouTube, YouTube, why am I the worst typer in the world? Okay. Yes, YouTube House. There we go. Making some progress. Now you don't want any of this in your house. You want a nice clean slate to work with. Yes, and some stuff somewhere. Yes, I want it gone. So then you go to all and wait and see if it crashes or freezes or any of the various things that your gag does. Oh, oh yes, perfect. I knew how it happened. Okay. Shack. So now you've got everything there is to do with shacks. And so you want to look for something that might be suitable. Preview. Nah, yeah, looks that's good enough. So you click and drag that into your world. And there's your shack. But it's a little bit dark at the moment, so you hit A and the lights come on. See? And also make sure these are checked. Make it a bit easier. So if you hold space and move your mouse, you can move it around like that. Hold shift and move your mouse, move it around like that, click on it, and you can sort of rotate around it like that by holding shift. So what we want to do now is because this is just one wall, it's a bit rubbish, you press Ctrl D and which duplicates it, and then click and drag like that. And for some reason mine's come out at the wrong angle. So if you hold Z, click lift, it comes out completely and utterly wrong, if mine's anything to go by. So, Z and lower it down. What have I done? That ought to do it. Okay. Don't know what I did, but there we go. So, control D, duplicate. Shift it along. And there we go, and... Control D and shift that along that. Now you've got a shack. Isn't that beautiful? Aren't you just made up? I am. Um, so now what we want to do is get a corner going. Because we've used reg 04, I'll just use the same type again. I see that doesn't look right. Oh, I don't care what it looks like. If it looks fucked up, that's just its own problem. Ah, that's not too bad. Either way, I'm right clicking and moving my mouse to get that to rotate. So we move that. Move that. Over there, hold Z and move my mouse to lower it. Doesn't really match, does it? Oh, we don't want something that doesn't match. That wouldn't be any good. Shack corner in, let's preview that. That matches, I think. See why it matches? Let's have a look at some of the others. 
not as much. Well, that wasn't really much either. I suppose if I go free, it's a way forward. That wasn't much either. That wasn't really. I suppose if it looks messed up when I play it in the game, then I'll do something about it. But if it doesn't, it's cool. So now we want an exit, shack exit wall. Oh. What does that look like? That looks decent, doesn't it? So you rotate, as I said before. Hold Z, shift that down. And we're making some progress toward having a shack. Oh yeah. Duplicate that and shift it. No. What are you doing, Gek? Why does it never respond to what I want it to do? Always does the opposite of what I want it to do. Okay, so now if you select all of those like that, I think I'm to duplicate the core and duplicate them. You've got that, which you can rotate, hold the right mouse button, and give yourself this. That is what I would call progress. I hope this hasn't been going too fast. That's my main concern. So I used a cor I used what did I use for my corner? I used the corner right, did I? I'm not hundred percent sure it says yeah. I'll use corner in, Meg. Should I have used something different? No. No, I shouldn't have done. That was right to do what I did. I'm wondering about my corners though. Let's duplicate that. And do I get over here? You can probably tell I don't do many of these tutorials. This being my first one. It looks it so looks off. Duplicate. Click and drag. Oh crap. Just ignore what I did that. <laughs> That's not bad, actually. I'm getting pretty pleased with my shack. A bit small at the moment. Then you want to get just one of these walls. Make sure you actually click on a wall. Duplicate it. Figure out which wall you clicked and move. Rotate with your right mouse button. Like that, so we've got the walls sorted. But there's a hole on the floor. Which is always bad in any mod. <laughs> Guess you'll fall through the world, which I've done so many times in mods I made. Um, especially when my corners don't join right, and I've, when I was making a, my first vault by a Bethesda tutorial, which is not very good. I didn't think it was anyway. Fill. So you know, these fills are what you want. That looks, that looks a lot higher than the roof of our shack is. That's why we don't want fill tall, we just want. Regular fill. So, yeah, that should be fine. Fill, there go one. Click and drag that into the world. And it's appeared really close to the screen. Oh shit, where's it gone? Just control Z and we've got it back. Okay. Go down. I'm holding Z whilst moving your mouse is to move things up and down. If I haven't said that already, then I've made a terrible mistake. Duplicate it. Control D, shift that across, duplicate, Sh shift that across, duplicate, shift that across. There we go. What I am unnerved by though is I didn't appear when I did my is these weird lights. Okay. So what we got now is a doorless shack that can't be accessed from anywhere. So shack door. My question is though, is that the kind of door that we want? Or will placing that be a terrible, terrible mistake? My door, when I placed it, <coughs> did not look like this. It didn't have this there. That's not the right door. And 
doesn't look good. But you know something. It'll be fine. Or will it? Okay. After having s putting some thought into it, I decided it will be fine. No texture on this side, so I have to rotate it. Oh, shit. to rotate it so that it does have a texture on that side. It doesn't fit. Give this a shot. Oh, you are joking. I hate it when that happens so much. Okay, what I'm going to do is get rid of that. Click on this and if you press F, it'll drop it to the floor. And then you can slide it around. This is really bad practice, but I can't be honest trying to fix whatever's going wrong. So. There's a gap there. That isn't good. We'll deal with those later. Alright. That should be fine. And that's that for now. Right, since I've no idea how long this has been, I'm going to pause, check how long it's been, and see if it's long enough for a single video, and then move on to furniture. <laughs>